My name is Malin and today I'm talking about why nice guys don't usually get the good girls. Women are generally attracted to the darker side in a man, you know, the confidence, the, the kind of flirtatious energy and like the assurance in themselves, you know. And when you think about it, like, that's kind of what they're turned on by, that's what they want to be with. And when guys are too nice, when they're too eager to please, you know, they're always asking for things like, oh, can I do this? Can I do that? You know, always asking. It shows underneath that they're kind of insecure with their confidence and they're not really in touch with their desires and they're not willing to put them forth and be honest. You know, they're kind of holding back. And I've done this a lot because I tend to be a people pleaser. I tend to like to people please, which can be a good, a good trait in some things, but then bad in other ways. And definitely with women, I've found myself holding back because I feel uncomfortable flirting because it feels very, feels very awkward. But if you don't flirt, then you're not showing your attention, intentions, you're not showing what you want, you're not showing your desires, you're not being very confident in yourself. And, you know, flirting builds this kind of sexual tension, which is important to do if you want to actually have a relationship with someone because you have to show your intentions. You can't just be nice and think, oh, you know, women should be with me because I'm a nice kind of person. And, you know, these good girls that are very attractive, you know, whatever, they're smart, they're cute, they're, they get a lot of attention, you know, wherever they go, whether it's on, whether they're on social media or not, these people often get, they're probably more likely to get a lot more compliments, a lot more attention, you know, a lot more guys just, looking at them and that sort of thing which is very unlike guys because even if you're an attractive guy you know you, you actually have to go out there and do things because women don't really come to those guys and if you want that kind of girl then you have to stand out you have to be bold but you also have to be gracious because she's probably already getting a lot of guys saying you know these cheesy pickup lines these I want to fuck you kind of things and like, you know, just all those stupid little comments, which I always thought was very seedy and gross, but you know, there's a certain extent where you have to kind of lean into that if that's what you want, because you have to be honest with yourself and your desires, because you're, if you're not aware of that, if you're just repressing these desires, then it's showing an insecurity in yourself and you're not living in a way that you want to. Like, if you want to have sex with this woman, then you should be saying that. And, of course, these things take practice, you know. And a lot of nice guys, they just end up, if they're following the cycle, they just end up being lured in by these women who are just going to use them for their niceness. You know, they're going to lure them in and just try and keep them trapped down. And these women often are quite anxious and they're very clingy and they're usually not the healthiest women to kind of be around and that can kind of give you this view of how women are you know all the pretty ones don't want me because I'm too nice and then I end up with these women that just are too anxious and needy so women are just bad you know and then we have these ultimatums you know women are bad guys are bad and all these kind of things and <laughs> I think that's really silly to say like it just frustrates me to say like hear and see that women are saying that guys are bad and guys are saying that women are bad because at the end of the day we do need each other we do want each other and if that's what you want then you shouldn't be putting down these other people you should be seeing and figuring out and finding out the truth seeing why these things are and anyway i digress from the topic so for guys, I think it's important to also think you have to be the guy that your ideal woman actually wants. You know, you can't just be, you can't just be a nice bum, you know, just this bum and think that a woman would want you like that because you've got to think about it. What's the kind of woman that you want and what would she want? You know, does she want you doing the things that you are doing now? And oftentimes this means taking care of your health, working out, you know, building up your body so you look good having some sort of job or career that earns you enough money, you know, so that you're actually reliable and, you know, and also a part of this is just being gracious and being, learning how to flirt and these kind of things. And 
through this process, you know, you have to expose yourself. You have to be open. And oftentimes this means that you'll be pushed back, that you may come across a lot of failures. No, you will come a lot across a lot of failures and anxiety, and you'll have to work through all these problems. It'll be very difficult and you'll keep fucking up and you'll keep stumbling. And then a couple of days later, after you think you've done the right thing, you'll be like, oh, fuck, why didn't, why didn't I do that instead? Why didn't I just say this instead? And that's just a part of the process, you know? You miss all the shots that you don't take. So you may as well take the shots and learn from them and be willing to pay that price to get the outcome that you actually want rather than just holding back and staying in the same cycles. You know, failure is a part of the process and her reaction to how you respond or his reaction to how you act isn't actually, it doesn't define you, doesn't say who you are, doesn't define your worth. And because your worth is internal, it's your self-esteem, it's your self-worth. It's not dependent on other people, it's your own internal sense. And nice guys often, you know, they try and look for women and for these things to kind of reinforce their beliefs to make them feel comfortable and safe. And that's not a very nice way to kind of live because then you don't have any sense of satisfaction and confidence in yourself. And of course, I don't, I should be saying this, but just be honest and be sensible with these kind of things. You know, don't be silly. Don't go like having flowers for like this random woman that's like down, down the street or whatever, or like giving too much attention to somebody that doesn't really want you, you know, be sensible, build a rapport with, with a woman, you know, and be gracious, but be bold. I think that's what I'm trying to say in this and that you have to own both sides, you know, nice guys, they, they've owned their secure part of themselves. They've owned this nice part of themselves. And that's a really good part to have in yourself, but also you've got to develop this darker side of yourself, this confidence, this flirtatious energy, this sexual energy, this, um, money, this status and this power. And a lot of these things are kind of seen as bad, especially as nice guys, because they're like, I just want to be a saint. I just want to be great. But, you know, if you're too nice, you don't end up with a lot of women. You don't end up being liked by a lot of people. And you don't end up with a lot of money, a lot of confidence in these kind of things. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.